Hello guys, it's me here, Cornelia, from Dangimur Beer Drive here in Sassenberg, so from my kitchen. So, and I would like to take you um, with me, like when I do some preparation for a very important function uh, of a very important day. So, yeah, stay with me and yeah, hope that you will enjoy my vlog. Um, I will just introduce uh like the things what i'm preparing now and what we will celebrate so today is my husband uh, tomorrow is my husband's 34th birthday and we are celebrating it a little bit with my family and it's a friday so we will ha have some dinner and some coffee and cake together so we will prepare some burger which we will do tomorrow and one day before i will start preparing the cake and yeah i will do three types of cakes um, and the first one is a very Russian recipe. We call it Ameisenhaufen, uh, which is a very nice cake. Everyone in the family loves it. Um, yes, and I will show you now the ingredients and how to do this. It's a very easy recipe uh, so that you know how to do that. And if you're interested, in it, you can also try to do it. It's a very, very easy recipe. So. <laughs> We have to melt the butter which I will start already now and then we need just few ingredients so we need flour we need sugar we need baking powder one egg and a little bit of salt we will mix it all together in one bowl and as soon as it is mixed then we will put it in the fridge so that it can cool down a little bit like for one hour and yeah then we will bake it and later we will do mix it with some nice cream and then it's a nice cake which really everyone in the family likes okay so i will start melting the the butter now here as soon as it is melted i will put it into the bowl then mix everything yeah and then the dough is already done guys i'm ready now so i have now here the the melted butter which i will put into the bowl just take care it's hot when you're doing it and then we need the sugar one half cup of sugar which i will put in and then we need a little one spin of uh, salt and then we need flour and to be honest, I don't know how much flour, it's just a little bit like you have to measure it by yourself. One half packet of baking powder. So, and one egg. So then mix it. And just make sure that you do not put the egg on the the, um, the hot um, butter because then you will fry your egg instead of you can use it. So then mix it with the dough. And I can already see, okay, flour is not enough, so add a little bit. Continue mixing and add more flour as soon as this is like a nice dough you can it's ready so it's still not enough okay let's try It should not be too sticky, but also not too hard. So, just try to measure it by yourself. But I think this is the perfect measurement. Yeah, looks nice. Super. Because if you put too, too much flour, 
and the dough is too dry, then you will also taste it in the cake that it's like not that creamy, the, the cake. So just try to make it a little bit sticky. Yeah, this is done. Next step is take some aloe foil or you can also use a, like a, um, a, I don't know, like a tray or something which you can cover. Take this all out. So. And then put it here on the, wow, that's so, so nice. I wanted to say fluffy, but it's not fluffy. So, and then you can put it here into the aloe, aloe foil. Close it and then for at least one, one uh, hour, put it in the fridge and then we will continue. Okay guys, the next recipe is my, yeah, my favorite cake at the moment. So uh, Patty already knows when I do this cake, uh, then um, yeah, something special is happening <laughs> or we get some special guests. And because it's the birthday of my husband, that's why I do this nice cake. So uh, we call this cake Napoleon and it's really, the taste is so nice. I super, super love it. It's so with different layers. You can yeah, make it in a tray or also like a big, big circle cake. So I will do it uh, this time as a, uh, on a tray. So not that thick one. Normally, like when you do a circle one, it's a very, very thick one, but I will just do a, like a little bit thinner one. And I will show you like what we have to mix. So first of all, we need again some butter, which we have to melt. So I already measure my it and put it in into, um, yeah, in uh, to my um, bowl here. Then we need sugar. I already put it in. Then we need kefir, kefir, or you can also I think you can also do it with buttermilk. Then we need flour. We need some baking powder. Uh, just one half packet and one egg if you have small eggs you should take two eggs but this is yeah i would say quite big one and yeah then as soon as the the butter is melted i will put it at, uh, into my bowl and then we will mix all the other ingredients um yeah and then we can start like making thin layers bake it in the oven and then later we will cook a nice cream which we will put between the layers so delicious and so like creamy i super super love it butter is melted so i will put it add it into our bowl then like the sugar is already in then we put the buttermilk or the kefir so this is 500 grams so i just need half of this bottle I, I know that like in Germany, like plenty of people, they are drinking kefir or buttermilk or like when it's super hot, um, uh, the weather is super hot, then they're drinking it like to let them cool down. So then some flour, then the baking powder and one egg, and then start mixing it. can already see not enough flour so add a little bit more okay some more like around 500 gram but uh, yeah sometimes it depends a little bit on like the size of the egg or 
I don't know, so that's why I just have my own measurement. I can already see that like when it's uh, not enough flour and then I just add it with my own measurement. But this looks quite good. Not too thick, but not too sticky. Yeah, still too sticky. Add some more flour. I already used more than 500 grams so sometimes yeah recipes are not 100% correct or it depends like how much like maybe I put a little bit more kefir inside or whatever so yeah then you just have to do your own measurement but that should be enough now so and then the dough is ready and then I will start like preparing that so that I can bake it So guys, okay, now the dough is ready. I already showed you, so a super good tex texture. So now this is the hardest part and that's why I'm saying I'm just doing this cake like when there is a special function because now we have to um, make like, yeah, thin layers, um, like to roll it. And this, this uh, dough is, uh, a little bit hard to roll <laughs> so uh, but yeah I will show you how to do that so it depends like if you want to make um, like a circle cake then you ha have to uh, like roll it now as a circle if you want to make it in a tray um, then yeah you can do it as I'm doing it now I don't know what is easier both the, both needs a little bit time but yeah no worries we can do that so like roll it that side as you like but just make sure that you have thin thin layers so that's what i'm saying it's yeah it takes a little bit of time to like roll it like with the right measurement. So, and then you can already heat the oven. And then these uh, layers have to bake like a few minutes. So, okay, now I already see, like I have already almost the right, um, the right um, measurement. Now I just have to make it like, like everywhere the same so that's that it is not too curvy like here is a little bit too much dough here is less dough so and for example if you see okay maybe on one side is a little bit too much the other side is something missing then you can just cut it a little bit like use one knife and then cut it for example i will show you so for example here's a little bit too much cut it and add it here yeah so oh so you cannot see that so cut it and add it here and then you can like make this side a little bit like the same This is already nice. So, looks quite good. So, and that's what I'm saying. That takes a little bit time. So, if you want to do this cake, you have to calculate a little bit of time. Yeah, so guys, I heated the oven now like 185 degrees. So and the first layer is already in the oven, which I will bake now for yeah, around five minutes. And I already prepared another one here. 
and a third one and I think I have uh, get another two or three yeah so bake it like one by one and as soon as this is done I will start preparing the cream guys a short update here from my side so I'm still baking um, the layers so here you can see one is ready so this is my fourth layer so take this out Oops. from the tray it's hot please take care put another on top and then bring it back into the oven and another few minutes and then we are almost done with this cake so i already have one one two three four one is in the oven and this is just a small piece which i will use for the crumble so and guys normally if i'm doing this cake like it's in a circle one so it's a smaller circle then i'm baking 12 sometimes layers so it's quite a long a lot of time which you need but if you do it a little bit like bigger size then it does not take you that that long okay let's continue and don't give up so guys while i'm baking the layers for the other cake i will prepare already and oh, i almost finished but i will prepare now the dough for which we call ameisenhaufen so it was now one hour in the fridge so then i take this out and then just put it on a tray like crumbles like this super easy nice cup tea So as soon as you have finished with that, then you can bake it, but first we need to finish it. Guys, you can see I have put all the dough on my, uh, my tray, so this is ready. And then bake it 180 degrees for, I don't know, 20-25 minutes, then check if it's still, uh, if it's brown, then take it out, if it's still too... Uh, light then leave it a little bit more in the oven guys and maybe something what i can add while i'm preparing here all the cake i'm also doing something for lunch because papi is not home actually uh, maybe yeah he's on, on on like school break but yeah he's not home so maybe the next day he will let you know what he's doing or where he's going um so i will make a pasta salad because we will put some um sausage on the barbecue today so i will make a pasta salad so i already put like zucchini paprika and mushrooms here in the frying pan and then our pasta which is already boiled and then i will make a nice pasta salad with some uh, dried tomatoes mozzarella and a pasta dressing uh, a pesto dressing super delicious Guys, okay, let us continue with our cake so you can see it was in the oven now for I think almost 30 minutes. So this is like perfect now. It's not too brown but also not too light. So now yeah, leave it a little bit here so that it can get cold and then later we will like make it to crumbles and then mix it with the with the cream. Okay. Um we are preparing our um uh, lunch i will continue with my baking um so now we do the ameisenhaufen so therefore we need some more butter which we have to mix and we need okay i show you now the bowl so and we need some uh, sweden condensed milk the caramel one so you can find it in all Russian shops. Like that. So, like one, one full. And I also always use some of this Sweden condensed milk, which is not caramelized. 
to make it uh, more smooth. So here, yeah, this is just half. Yeah, half is enough. So and then you have to mix it with the mixer. And then you can see on the texture if we should um, should add something or if this is already enough. That's always a little bit hard for me because I'm left-handed and with this mixer like sometimes it's going under control and I will add a little bit more of butter so I add a little bit more of water. butter now mix it and then the cream for the cake is ready and then we can jump to the dough so guys and now the next step is we need the crumble the crumble which we have baked put it in a plastic so. and then break it into small crumbles so I'm always doing it here with this thing Some people also are putting nuts inside, I don't know, but I won't do that today, like walnuts or something. And when this is like super small cubes or crumbles, then we can add it into our cream. Okay, so now I will add it into my cream and also okay. so another one and go. Now, last step is mix it properly so that the cream is going everywhere mm, so delicious even if you're already eating it like now it's so delicious super so oh it's a super juicy one so just take care that's not too dry otherwise you you will not like it so and then you need a plate I have a plate now here and then I put it into the plate like a, yeah like a hill or I don't know how to say that or a mountain And then the cake is done and then it has to uh, be a little bit in the fridge or in a dry and cold place and then you have to leave it there for yeah one day even you can prepare this already like um, two or three days before nothing will happen so don't be afraid and maybe it will go bad nothing will happen if you cover it properly then uh, yeah you can do it in advance and it will be still like juicy because now you cannot even eat it because the crispy have to become more uh, the um, 
the crumbles have to become more soft and like after one day then the um, crumbles will be soft and you can like cut it into pieces yeah super happy with my results so it's not a super big portion but cut it in like the pieces and smaller ones because this is a very sweet cake <laughs> so that you're not shocked um it has a lot of calories so don't eat too much from that um yeah but it's a birthday tomorrow so uh, we can celebrate and also like eat a little bit cake okay guys last step is like we call it ameisenhaufen so the mountain of the the um the ends like when i would translate it i will put some chocolate um crumble on top and then cover it with some aloe foil yeah it's hot so the chocolate is melting so i have to be a little bit fast okay so and then do some aloe foil and then cover it properly so that yeah cover it and then yeah put it into a cold and dry place so i will put now in the fridge and then we will eat it tomorrow that's it that is the first cake number one and then we will continue later with the, the other one so okay coming back to the next cake where we have to do the cream now so we need uh, melted butter which i will start now then we need sugar which i already put into the pot we have to cook the cream now one liter of milk um, so it's like a vanilla pudding i don't know cream but so delicious and you would say, man, it looks like a lot of sugar. Yes, but the layers do not include a lot of sugar. So they do not taste like, na like nothing. So that's why we need a lot of uh, sugar in between. And then we need one uh, packet of vanilla sugar. And three eggs. And... Uh, four tablespoon of flour. Four. So, so now put in the eggs. Eins, zwei, drei. Then heat it and mix it. But please, guys, don't heat it too too fast. Because the problem will be that when you heat it, it will like burn on the on the uh, ground of the the, the the pot, and then you cannot use this um, this cream anymore. So that's why I really can recommend don't heat it for too fast, and always like stand here and mix it properly otherwise yeah it will not work properly so then start heating it i will add a little bit of uh, what i super like is vanilla uh, vanilla um, flavor uh, i super love it and now i will start heating it and mix it properly and then it has to cook as soon as it's like boiling then put in the butter and then you have to leave it in the fridge for the time that it can like cooling down and then you can start preparing or continuing the cake okay so guys a short update while i'm here and cooking my cream so you can already see it's like becoming more hot so don't forget like to mix it properly otherwise you will 
cook this cream two times. Believe me, I already uh, experienced it. That I was just running around and doing other things while this was cooking, and then uh, yeah, my cream was burned and like black burnt pieces uh, was were there. So that's why I decided, okay. When I cook this um, cream, I just give all my concentration on it and do not jump and do other things. Yeah, so it needs a little bit of patience, but no worries. Yeah, so as soon as it's boiling, then I will show you how to continue. So guys, welcome back after a few hours. We are back in the kitchen here of Tangi Modia Drive. So, and yeah, um, the cream now which i prepared a few hours ago like it's like super cold now it was in the fridge so just mix it a little bit and then you can start with the layers so start with one suck here and then add the cream and if you have like these kind of bubbles so yes make them a little bit like screw open them it's not a problem so that some cream is coming inside mm. okay. okay let's put some cream here that you put enough cream but also that it is still enough for the other layers so guys next one So now it looks a little bit like uh, like the layers are too hard, like how can they like touch the other layer because there's so much uh, space, it's like a like big gap, but don't worry, like after a few hours it will go down and then you won't see that anymore. Here the ends, we will cut it later so that it looks nice. And also like while this cake is in the fridge, uh, it will close the gaps. Super cream. Okay, so now I told you that I baked one more here which um, yeah, which did not uh, I 
could not like finish to one big one so what we will do now is just make it in small pieces and put it like as a crumble on top and then this cake is ready then it has to go into the fridge for i would <clears throat> like i can really recommend to leave it like for one night in the fridge and then the next day you can eat it and then it is super juicy and also like this this cake also goes for for long like even if here we have thursday now even if you eat it on sunday it's still good it's not becoming that fast dry so yeah like you can also prepare this cake a little bit in advance like if you go to uh, if you need it like for saturday you cannot already do it on thursday it's not a big problem but i want to <coughs> make these pieces a little bit smaller that's why i'm using now Maybe also some uh, chocolate, I'm not sure what I have in the fridge. so guys and uh, I have the feeling it's not enough uh, like crumble on top so that's why I will add some lotus bisco uh, biscuits not that much it has a little bit different color but it's not a problem Then we will celebrate our birthday boy tomorrow. Wait, you told them? Yeah, you are the birthday boy. I told them every time when I do this cake, I'm always doing this cake when? What was the word I was saying last time? When we have special guests or there's a special function? Oi! Oi! So 
So tomorrow is special function. King's birthday. King's birthday? Who's king? Who, king. Awesome, boy. Then better than we. How does it look? A little bit different color, but kind of problem, huh? Fiji, order. Yeah, guys. So cake is done for today. I will put it in the fridge now. And then we are done for today. So we have prepared everything what I should prepare. And then see you tomorrow when I will show you some more things which I have prepared. This is cake number two. So there's also cake number three. But I will show you tomorrow.